Welcome to the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Women's Soccer Media Day. I'm Eric Bergrud, color commentator for the Kansas City Comets of the Major Arena Soccer League. As we continue today's media day, we are pleased to be joined by 2021 Heart Coach of the Year, Culver Stockton College Head Coach Tyler Tomlinson and Kirsten Jannon. How are you both doing today? Good. Great. Just got out of practice. That's the way it works these days, right? So coach, your team had a, a successful 2021 season, finishing fourth in the heart and just missing a selection at the NAIA National Championship. Tell us about last year and the progression your team took in 2021. Yeah, it was, it was a big leap for us. And um, I think that for something like that to happen, things have to go right. Uh, it, it's not a, there is some luck involved, you know, you had to stay healthy and we were very lucky enough to stay healthy throughout most of the year. Um, you know, players that say they're, they're going to come have to come to the school. And, uh, you know, that's always a big challenge in today's landscape with student athletes. And so, you know, luckily we've had, uh, a good, uh, retention within our, within our roster year after year. And eventually things like that pay off. And, and when you have groups stay together, you can have results like we had last season. So you referenced a leap in 2021. What will it take to take that leap to the top three in the heart in 2022 and a potential spot in the NAIA national tournament? Yeah, it'll it'll take consistency with our discipline. I think um, I think that to be able to to maintain anything in, in this league and and continue to do it year in and year out is is always a challenge. Uh, our team knows that. Um, we we know that last year was a really good year for us. Uh, but I think the important thing is that it's not one that went to our head. You know, Culver's always a team that plays with the chip on their shoulder, uh, and our kids will continue to be hungry. And and I think as as long as we have that fight and determination and and stick to itiveness, I think we'll be fine. So, Coach, tell us a bit about Kirsten and her importance to your program. Well, I mean, she's a. I I think what's important for me to say is she's not just of importance to our program; she's important to the whole college. And that for me is, is what makes her a special kid and a special player. I'm lucky enough just to, to have her as a soccer player. Uh, she's a natural leader. Um, she can, you know, the, the football coach yesterday asked me what's so, the same question. What's so special about KJ? And I said, he said, does she score goals? I said, if you want her to, she will. Uh, you know, she does whatever we ask. And I think that's what separates her. But I think what's important about uh, KJ is that she's a good person. and the school benefits from her. And so once again, we're lucky just to have her as a soccer player. So Kirsten, the heart value student athletes, students first, what is your major and what are your plans after your Culver Stockton uh, soccer career is over? Um, so I'm majoring in business administration and sports management. And um, coach Tyler here has asked me if I wanted to maybe be a GA next year for the team. So we're gonna explore that avenue possibly. Um, but that's the only plans I have at the moment. So how excited are you to get back on the field again with your teammates this season? Um, I would say very excited because it's my senior year. Um, I get to end it with the people that I came in with as a freshman. We have a lot of new faces, so it hopefully it's a good change from last year, so we don't have to write off the last year's success. We can create our own. So, Coach, in addition, in addition to Kirsten, who are some of the returners that you have back that Hart fans should keep an eye on? Yeah, well, we, we have an all-conference player, Savannah Stauffer. Um, she she played at center back for us last year. Um, you know, she's just kind of a game-changing type of player, um, very competitive. Uh, so she'll be back. She's, she's battling a little knee injury to start the season, so we'll get her probably before conference starts. Um, but the back line's tough. Ellie Wehart is another defender for us that, that we return. Uh, our goalkeeper, Mackenzie Frizzell, and our backup goalkeeper who saw a lot of games last year, Trinity Register, they're both back with the team. Um, our holding midfielder behind KJ, uh, her name's Kalia Abad. Uh, she's a senior. She's got a ton of experience. Um, and then we have a, a returning player that we've moved to an offensive position in Rachel Iacobellis from California. Um, but once again, experienced player, played all three years in different spots, and she's excited to try to score some goals. So. We are confident with the returners that we have and especially the senior aspect of it. So what do you hope to see from your team in the non-conference part of your schedule? Uh, you know, uh, we're, we're probably gonna make some mistakes um, because outside of the group that I just 
said, we're pretty young. And I think that when we get into those games, you know, it's okay to, to be vulnerable and try to play our system. Um, we have to learn from those games. So we're at our best when we get into conference. This is one of the probably the toughest non-conference schedules that, that we've ever played uh, since I've been here. And so I think it'll be a good challenge. I think that's good for our program uh, to be able to take on those challenges. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think what I'm looking for is, is, is just to be us and, and see where that takes us. So, Kirsten, you've played in the heart now for quite some time. Talk about the competitiveness of games in the heart, day or night, in and out. Um, any day, it could be anybody's game. doesn't matter what you're ranked or who you have. Um, you have to go out and play with everything you have, or else you could be winning 5-0, to zero, or you could be losing 5-0, <laughs> to zero, just like that it happened to us last year. Um, it was a good reality check, but it's a competitive, competitive environment. Um, and one of the best conferences, I would say, in the NAIA. So, Coach, we're asking each head coach the same question. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear Heart of America Athletic Conference soccer? Uh, other than Lori Thomas? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I think we're the best. I mean, I, I truly believe that. Um, the way that I describe it is, is top to bottom. I think there's a lot of great conferences in the NAIA, uh, but I think a lot of them are, are top heavy. Um, and I think that, that we are through and through uh, the toughest conference in the nation. Coach Tomlinson and Kirsten, thank you so much for joining us today and good luck to your team in 2022. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.